just glad that he's alive to text. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but when you think about Kim, I was thinking to myself the other day, Uptown Records started with five people. Andre Harrell, I'll be sure, Heavy D, and Puffy. And Kim was the longest working employee because she was there from the very beginning. She was Andre's personal assistant. Mm. Kim is dead. Heavy D is dead. Mm. Andre Harrell is dead. The only two left. Puffy and Al, and Al almost died. Leaks Diddy's freak off tape, the shocking details. Jaguar Wright has done it again, this time leaking shocking footage from Diddy's infamous freak off parties. The tape, which allegedly contains damning evidence of illegal activities, could be the final blow to Diddy's crumbling empire. But what exactly is on this tape, and how could it impact the ongoing investigation? In this video, we'll break down the shocking details of Jaguar Wright's leaked footage and discuss how it could change everything for Diddy. Because see, I know something that a lot of people don't know. I know that you and Kim Porter had a sit down right before she left us. And I know Kim had some very good advice to give you. And I believe that, that this is why things are happening as they're happening now. Kim was smart, wasn't she, Cassie? Kept you alive and kept you safe. Congratulations on surviving and congratulations on standing up. Jaguar Wright has been a controversial figure in the entertainment industry for years, known for exposing secrets about some of the biggest names in music. Her latest revelation, a leaked tape from Diddy's Freak Off Parties, has everyone talking. According to Wright, the footage shows high-profile celebrities engaging in illegal activities, including drug use and sexual exploitation. While the full contents of the tape have not been made public, those who have seen it claim it's explosive. If Sean Combs is focusing on things he cannot control, he will have a miserable experience. When he can call home, when he can visit, the living conditions, exercising, maybe an hour a day, showering a few hours a week. If he fixates on that, it is going to be miserable and every day will feel like a year. On the other hand, if he can learn from those who have come before him and master the experience, my business partner served 26 consecutive years for a nonviolent crime, including eight years in the penitentiary. He never complained. He focused on his family, trying to prove worthy of the love and support of his family. If he can do that, the experience, it won't be easy. I'm not insane. It will be more bearable. The choice is up to him. And as far as we know right now, he has been kept um, in solitary confinement or the shoe right now, and he's been on suicide watch. How different is that experience from being in the general population? It's much harder. If you like to be around people, you like communication, if you're an extrovert, and then suddenly you are isolated 23 hours a day on total lockdown, I'm not spinning that it's difficult. It will test the strongest mind. But he has to understand others have gone through it and emerged successfully. And what he and his lawyers have to understand is they have like a messaging problem. They continue to say things that do not get them closer to what they want, which is bond. It's led to indictments. And if he can begin to introspect and kind of reverse engineer some of his choices and recognize it is my decisions alone that have led me here. And if I can communicate differently moving forward, maybe the ultimate sentence, even if convicted, could be better, perhaps could lead to bond eventually. But it can be very difficult in segregation and his lawyers have to stop blaming and excusing and talking about how difficult the experience is because here's what a judge is going to say. If you were so concerned about what these filthy living conditions would be like in a detention center, if you were so concerned about your safety, you wouldn't have obstructed justice. You would not have, according to the government, created victims over a sustained period of time. Until he changes his message, more problems are going to follow. And Diddy allegedly has been accused of using different drugs in the past. Even prosecutors have said um, on the night he was arrested that there was allegedly pink cocaine in his hotel room. Do you think that there's any chance he could be going through withdrawal? The release of this footage could have far-reaching consequences for Diddy and others involved in the parties. Legal experts believe it could strengthen the FBI's case against him, while fans are left wondering which celebrities will be implicated next. Wright's decision to leak the tape has also raised questions about her motives. Why now? And what does she stand to gain? As the tape continues to circulate, one thing is clear, Diddy's legal troubles are far from over. 
What do you think about Jaguar Wright's leaked footage? Could this be the final nail in Diddy's coffin? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe for more updates on this explosive story. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.